Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today, as you can see from the actual title, I'm gonna show you how to install a graphic interface for your Docker, for your server, Grafana. I'm gonna also install Prometheus and Node Exporter. So you can actually have all the information in a nice graphical way. There are many different dashboards you can actually download and you can actually have a look how your server is performing in a easy to read graphical interface. So without any delay, let's go and start the tutorial. It's gonna be nice, short. And again, I would like to remind that this tutorial is being sponsored by AdChill. We're going to learn about them a little bit later in the video. You can find a lot of information about how I installed Portainer on Docker on my other tutorials. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to log in to Docker using my terminal putty. And in the description below, you're going to find all the information you need to get started. Now, I got already all we need here. And as I said, we're going to do this together now. Let me exit. Uh, oh, I mistake there. Let me do exit there. There we go. Clear. So this is once you log in your server. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give myself sudo access or root access by typing sudo su. Again, guys, my tutorial is always going to be the easy way. I'm never going to give you jargons or anything like that because I want to make it easy for everybody to get this accessible so you can actually install open source application and you can get started in no time. So sudo su and I'm going to add my password here now. This is my one of my uh, laptop that I use for uh, tutorials. It's a very simple old type of, um, all you need is something you can actually you know, install Ubuntu and run Docker really. And this is what I got here. Now on this one, I got Portina Docker, I got NGX manager so I can actually uh, manage domains, you know, local domains so I can do a lot of things. Now, grafana.com, that's all the information you need to know, everything you find are here plus you find loads of dashboards you can actually download i'm going to show you some of the uh, dashboards and i'm going to show you again uh, which one i like the most and how easy to add new dashboards later in the video so let's go back to the terminal let's go back to the notepad and let's start the installation so all you got to do here really is copy and paste. That's how simple it is. So I'm going to do this one now. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to do it. And as you can see, that's been done. I'm going to create Prometheus. I already got this done up and running. So I'm going to write nano Prometheus um, YAML or YML. And as you can see, I got already the information here. Now, forget about this IP. This is the IP of the actual, um, let's have a look here, of the server of Docker, as you can see here. So make sure you got the right IP, otherwise it won't work, guys, okay? So you wanna make sure you put the right IP here. Again, you can change the job name if you want to, it's up to you. Node monitor is the one we're gonna use. I'm gonna to Control X to exit. For you, it will be Control O, Enter, Control X to exit. All right. So let's go back here. So we've done this one here. We're going to install now Prometheus. I'm going to install it on port 9090. Now, before I want to do that, I'm going to do a 192.168.1.137. I'm going to make sure that the node is working as, as you can see here. That's the port 9100. 
again let's go here this is the port of the node exporter the one we installed here and this is the actual port we're gonna use for the grafana prometheus okay here you find all the information of your server in the text mode and this all is going to be changed and translated in a graphical mode okay so let's go back here back there as you can see now we're going to do that make sure you got the port open again in portainer you can see which port are being used and which one have not been used as you can see those ports are not being used there we go copy and paste and i'm going to press enter job is done now i'm going to install grafana now make sure again the i didn't explain that properly i think uh when you install prometheus make sure you are in the right folder as you can see home al and if i do an ls you can see the prometheus yaml is here and this is where it is located all right so you want to make sure it's located in the right way okay so now we've done that we're going to install grafana copy and paste that shouldn't really take long and as you can see job is done now to access it before i do that i'm going to make sure everything is working properly and as you can see everything has been installed and is working properly so let's go and op open let me close the ngx uh, 192 168 1 137 and the port as we can see here is 9090 okay again even if you do 3000 you will get this so Make sure you got the right port is 1990 okay and as you can see we got prometheus up and running you can add panels and you can do a lot of other things here so as you can see everything looks pr promising let's go and open another one so we can actually have a look at grafana itself 137 and the port if you're not sure you can go back here as you can see the port is 3000 but for you to access it because it's on a remote, it's three, four, five, six. So it's three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna press enter. And we are in Grafana. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my username. The default is very simple, is admin. And the password is admin. Now the first thing I think is going to ask me to change the password. And I'm gonna close that, not now, and I'm going to add my new password. Add chill, automating and scaling Facebook ads made easy. If you have an e-commerce store, an app, courses to sell, digital product, or, or any other website business that you need more traffic, then Ad Chill is the service you need. Get your free demo today at adchill.io. Ad Chill allow us to turn eight hours of facebook ads work in only 10 minutes or even less while decreasing the cost of acquiring buyers actual is a facebook advertising automation tool that drives massive amounts of traffic to apps websites e-commerce stores and more Adchill also comes with 100 percent risk-free 300 percent money back guarantee double your ad conversion or get three times your money back. What are you waiting for? Get your free demo today at adchill.io. I'm going to submit it. Never that. No, now. And we are inside Grafana. And as you can see, we install it in no time. Now, all the information are here. We've got to do the basic uh installation the first thing we got to do we got to give the uh data source so i'm going to click on that one i'm going to say select prometheus the url is going to be this one here i'm 
There we go, and then we're gonna select the port. And again, you can, I mean, I, I usually leave this one, and to be honest with you, I'm gonna say server default. I don't need to do anything else. And yeah, it looks good. I mean, I can do dashboard here, I think, and it looks okay, this one here, so I'm gonna leave it. Well, I thought I'd done it. Let me do paste. 1990 and I'm gonna say test seven tests okay and as you can see it works perfectly well so that is being done and the data source is working go back to the search here there is no dashboard so let's and add the first dashboard I'm going to add a new panel again this is the one that comes with Prometheus all you can do here and you can do import save dashboard if you want to save this one here I'm going to call it default for example you can create a folder I'm going to leave it in general and I'm going to click save I'm going to do that one I'll go back to the import now we need to load the Grafana dashboard. There are, as I said, many to choose from. I'm going to leave some of my, the one I like the most. And you get codes, for example. I'm going to copy that one here. Let's go if I go on this one here. So for example, if you like this one here, this is the actual code you need, for example one two five five nine so let's go back here and uh, where are we here we go i'm gonna paste that and i'm gonna say load i can name it or just leave it as standard then i'm gonna click import i thought it was done automatically let me have a look and it looks like this one perhaps is not compatible with this panel so let's go and have a look okay let's import another one let's see if this one works and load you want to make sure you read the description again i got multiple servers so this one was taken you know from the other one this one should work as you can see the, it, uh, the server comes up prometheus i'm going to import it and in no time as you can see the actual panel has been important again it's not been populated yet as we do not have the server been up for a long time it's only been up, been up for a few a few minutes to be honest with you not a lot so there is no information being shown here but trust me everything works fine everything is the way it's supposed to if i go on the search here we find multiple um dashboard that's including the one we just installed let's have a look for example the default one or the prometheus ones the grafana ones they all more or less look the same as you can see this is actual grafana server that's the default that's the one that comes with the actual uh, system and as you can see the information sort of started already to be scraped and also there is the duration again it's not been a lot there so 17.9 minutes it says there so it's not enough really to populate this is the latest one we just installed now and again in the description below guys you find the actual uh, code and i also leave you the actual information for the um code there for example this is a new one 9614 let's try this one just a second before we wrap it up this one i'm sure it is compatible i'm gonna let's have a look here so I'm going to press OK there. I'm going to leave it as it is. Again, you can change as you want, really. This is the NGINX. We got the NGINX uh, installed. So here we go. You got the NGINX as well. And it looks good. Again, NGINX has not been, um, been on at all. So again, guys, thanks so much for joining for this tutorial. I'd like to thank the, the sponsor, AdChill. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next tutorial.